Today I will be demonstrating the application of a Samiento cast with Benicast Advance using a focused rigidity technique. Apply the first layer of stockinette from the toes to above the knee and then continue by applying a protective strip down the posterior aspect of the leg. I am using a double layer of undercast padding because this provides adequate protection and has good conformability to the leg. However, adhesive felt or fleecy web is also a great alternative. Now apply the second layer of stockinette as you did with the first layer, smoothing the padding along the posterior aspect of the leg as you go. Ensure the stockinette is well fitted and wrinkle free. Now using fleecy web for protection to the bony prominences, felt negative padding could also be used. Place a large piece to the knee that will cover the patella and epicondyles of the femur and then a long strip down the tibial crest and additional circles to protect the malleoli. Additional protection can be put at the distal and proximal end of the cast if required. Using the Benicast Advanced 10cm, make a two layer slab to fit from the mid patella to the base of the toes. Cut off the slab and then dip both the slab and the bandage into room temperature water with a moderate squeeze. Place the slab on the anterior aspect of the limb and then secure using the remainder of the bandage covering approximately 50% of the previous turn. Use the remainder of the bandage around the foot and the ankle to provide additional strength. Now dependent on the size of the limb, use either a 10cm or a 7.5 Benicast Advance to make a two layer stirrup. This should come above the fracture site. Position the stirrup onto the limb to fit under the heel and up the medial and lateral border of the leg. Secure the slab using the remainder of the bandage, wrapping edge to edge, working from the foot up the leg. Mould the cast to ensure it is fitted to the contours of the limb and has excellent lamination. Pay particular attention, moulding into the patella tendon at the base of the patella and flatten the cast on the posterior aspect behind the knee. Allow the cast to reach the initial set and rest on a soft pillow. Mark the cast along the posterior aspect with the J at the heel. Using bandage scissors or nibblers, cut along the template And then before removing the cast, mark it around the knee to ensure an excellent fit with no constrictions of the knee joint. And then remove the cast from the limb carefully. Trim the cast at each extremity. And then using fleecy web or elasticated strapping edge the cast. Apply three pieces of adhesive hook and non-adhesive loop wrapped circumferentially along the anterior border of the cast. Ensure the cast is secure and comfortable and provides good functionality for the patient. A Benicare post-op medical shoe can be used for mobilising.